Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. It's actually been a while since I filmed one of these videos and I just wanted to update you guys on what I've been using because I've been asked <laughs> can't speak um, because I've been asked a lot of questions about my makeup recently and also just to have a chit chat with you guys because it's been a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just it's a Sunday today and I'm currently getting ready to go out for lunch with my friends so I thought I'd just sit down and show you guys what I'm doing to my face because I know that every time I post something on Instagram I get questions so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do and what I'm using first of all I have already like moisturized my face and done my skincare routine um, and I'm probably gonna update you all on my skincare routine because it's changed quite a bit but I'm using the Kiehl's Butter Stick Lip Treatment and this is the one that's untinted and this is so good it's really moisturising and I'm sorry if it's really bright because it's sunny today but that's a good thing because yeah it's sunny and sunny makes me happy um, so I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette and as you can see it's quite well loved I use these two shades together and I use that to correct my under eyes so let's pop a little bit on pop a little bit on there it actually feels really weird to get ready without um, music for the past God knows how long. Um, I always listen to music when I get ready. So not listening to music now is a bit like... Wow. That's bright. Um, it's a bit like... Hey. I also put a little bit on my chin because I have quite a lot of scars. Um, last month I had a big massive um, breakout. Um, I think that was just due to not enough sleep, my diet was awful and I was going on holidays so my skin just completely played up. Then I'm going in with my foundation which I've been using for the past two months. This is the MAC Studio Fix in NC20. I've actually been using the Etude House tint my eyebrows. It's like a um, brush and then you like put it on your eyebrows and you leave it on overnight and then when you wake up in the morning you like peel it off and then you've got like your eyebrow like tattooed onto your face. It sounds really weird but it works really well and I'll probably show you guys in a vlog um, how I use it. So yeah I'm gonna be doing more vlogs um, because I know that you guys like that type of stuff. So for my concealer, I was actually using the Pony Effect um, concealer but I ran out of that last week so I'm going back to my um, collection um, Last In Perfection in number one and I put that on under my eyes, chin and then down my nose but I think that it's a little bit thick so I don't put it on too much because I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline under my eyes and put more of that on like that and then blend and blend so I've just done some um, cream contouring but I've already done a video on that so um, I'll link it down below if you want to know how I did it. Um, I'm going to go with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I was using the Soap and Glory one but it actually makes me feel a little bit cakey so I've gone back to the Laura Mercier one. I think because it's a pressed, um, not pressed, um, loose powder. It's um, just a little bit more fine. A lot of you are probably wondering where's Aiden, right? Um, basically Aiden spends the weekends with his dad so yeah weekends is the time where I get to do some work and meet up with my friends and just catch up on anything that I can't really do when um, Aiden's around. 
so yeah that's weekends for me um then i'm gonna go with my hula light and i've really been liking this it's obviously just a lighter version of the hula bronzer which i love as well um but this one i can apply all over my face whereas the hula one original one is a little bit more darker so that's more for like contouring or shading bronzing but this one is more kind of like all over Oops. and then i'm going to go in with my anastasia um gleam palette and using the lightest one just highlight a little bit so just down the center of my nose of the lip just a little bit above my cheekbones I only put like the tiniest amount here because I don't really like to be shiny but I think it's nice to have like a little bit of a glow so for my eyebrows I've been using Etude House um easy brow pencil in number one and um, brown and I just go in and fill in the areas that I need to and this is kind of like a hard pencil so it gives a really nice soft effect without like being too harsh I've actually been leaving my makeup um, like this a lot um, lately. I just put on um, some mascara and a little bit of lip tint. But because I'm going for brunch today with my girlfriends, um, oh, this is the one thing that I forgot to put on. This is the thing that I've been using for the past two months as well. This is the Innisfree Nursey Bump Blur Primer, and this is really good. It stops me from being shiny, but. Forgot to put it on today. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to go in with the Naked Heat palette, and I was actually sent this like maybe like three weeks ago now, but I only opened it this week because um, it's just sat in my pile of like makeup products that I need to try and test out. And I thought I'd give it a try because I've seen so many people use it, and it looks gorgeous. Look how gorgeous those colours are. It's like me in a palette, and I'm going to use. Um, this colour which is called Low Blood I'm just going to put that um, I actually need to rip this sticker off <laughs> okay I'll just use this mirror um, I'm going to put that well that's a lot of eyeshadow I'm <laughs> just going to put that in the crease as a wash off colour and I've been enjoying not wearing too much eyeshadow lately i've just been doing like washes of colors and then using like eyeliner and lashes so i think that's what i'm gonna do today because i think i'm gonna do like why is that so bright again because i think i'm gonna do a dark red lip today. I haven't done a dark red. <laughs> I haven't done a dark red lip in a while. I've been wearing a lot of nudes and a lot of um, red, but like an orangey red. So that's the wash of colour on my eyes, and um, I'm not sure if I want any more eyeshadow on. I think yeah I'm just gonna leave it like this because it's a Sunday I don't want to put like too much eyeshadow on so I'm gonna do like a winged eyeliner which I haven't actually done in a while and um, have my dark red lips so yeah I think that's it for eyeshadow but I'm gonna put a little bit on at the bottom as well that same brown browny kind of like brick color i'm going in with my sleek highlighter palette which is the famous one and as you can see that's where 
Aiden's been playing with my makeup because <laughs> he's just like completely ruined that one. But I'm just going to use this um, light gold colour as a highlight on the inner corners of my eyes. I love this palette because it's so affordable and it's just so pretty. The colour is just really, really pretty. So next I'm going to use the um, Clio Kill Black Waterproof um, Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper waterline and do a very fine, like really thin, um, little kind of like winged eyeliner um, because I want to do um, eyelashes so I like to let my eyelashes stand out a little bit more because when I do like a thicker eyeline, um, lashes are not as noticeable because obviously the thick eyeliner wing has like covered the eyelashes if that makes sense so I'm just gonna tight line first as you can see the eyeliner is really like slim it's nowhere near as thick as what I used to do or normally do and then what I like to do is go in with a dark brown which I'm gonna use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette and I'm going to take this dark brown colour and just go over it just to soften it because I don't want it to be harsh so so not only has that softened it a little bit it's also made it um, more smoky around the lash line without like being too obvious so I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye as you can see it makes a difference I'm gonna go in with my eyelashes and um, these are Ardell Demi Whispers and um, I get so many questions on my eyelashes so if I'm not wearing a thick winged eyeliner I use Demi Whispers but if I'm doing like a thick winged eyeliner then I need something a little bit more dramatic so then I use the normal Whispers so there's two eyelashes are like my staples or go-to's just because they look a little bit more natural and I like the band because the band is really flexible and invisible as well yeah so I'm just gonna pop these on my eyes the so last weekend I went to a wedding and I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys were asking me what makeup I had on and I've actually already done a tutorial on that kind of makeup look so I'm gonna link it down below if you're interested or um, if you're wondering like what lip colour I was wearing, what eyelashes, um, I'm going to link it down below. So I'm just going to put on some mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof. I like this. I've been using it for the past month or so. I've never really been a blusher type of person but I have started wearing it recently and this is NARS Gilda. And I like to apply just a little bit like on the outer on the outer parts of my cheeks here. Um, I'm just gonna put a bit more lip balm on my lips before I do my lipstick. And it is half past ten right now, so yeah, my friends are not coming till uh, my friends are not coming till twelve. So yeah, I still have some time. I actually changed my mind because the lipstick that I was gonna wear is a little bit too light and a little bit too rosy for the makeup look that I'm gonna go for. Oh, my hair! What's happening with my hair? So can you believe it? I just went into my um, lipstick drawer. To look for a dark red lipstick and I actually don't have one I have this um, lime crime liquid lipstick which is quite dark but it's more like a purpley kind of red and I wanted like a just a pure dark red so I think tomorrow I have an excuse to go shopping again and buy another lipstick 
which I don't really need but like I don't have one in my collection can you believe that I have like about 60 different or even more like lipsticks and then I have about probably about another 30 unopened lipsticks that I've been sent um, that I haven't opened yet but I'm just gonna use this one today because that is this one so it's like a nice dark red but because it's a little bit purpley I'm gonna put on a red lip liner underneath and this is Max Red it's Max Red lip liner on its own and then I'm gonna put this Lime Prime Wicked on top That worked quite nice. It's like exactly what I was looking for. And now I just need to um, tidy up the lips because it's a bit messy around the edges. So I'm just going to go in with some concealer and tidy that up. So yeah, this is my Sunday makeup look, which I actually really like. Um, like I said, I've been enjoying wearing less um, eyeliner and more like eyelashes kind of thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall chat to you guys soon.